This week on the program, get ready to slam an ice cold Pepsi because on this episode, we're talking. Oh, man, it's World War Z, isn't it? God damn it. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. World War Siska. God damn it, you took mine. Chris <laughs> Cabin Z. <laughs> and we hate movies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. This week on the program, we're talking uh, 2013's World War Z, directed by Mark Forster. Now, if you don't know this fella, that's right, Chris Kevin. Check out this fucking filmography. <clears throat> uh, starting with last year's uh, A Man Called Otto. Of course. Oh, Christopher my God. Christopher Robin. Wait, that Man Called Otto, that's a zombie movie, right? Yes. <laughs> Tom Hanks' first zombie movie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Christopher Robin, Oy. Machine Gun Preacher. Oh, wait, that wait, wait, is this that's Gerard Butler? Yes, yes. it is. And I'm a like, preacher with a machine gun. <laughs> Do I'm, you get it? <laughs> I'm praying to my Lord AK 47. <laughs> I'm sucking the cock of a gun. Uh, oh, Quantum of Solace. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Kite Runner. Ugh. Stranger Than Fiction, the Will Ferrell movie. That was God, what a just wow. boring what filmography. What is he just throw darts at a wall? What the <laughs> fuck is this? Dude, get ready. Backing up even further. Back to the Future 3? Finding Neverland. <laughs> okay. And then the movie he did right before that, yep. his big break. Oh, yeah. You guessed it. Mm -hmm. Name it, Chris Cavan. Monster's Ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a fucking filmography. Not great. Oof, Not man. Great. I mean, um, Finding Neverland and Monster's Ball, at least. And I mean, like... Finding Neverland Two and movies Monster's about Ball. people who abuse children. Yes, <laughs> but, like, we're well-received and, like... Us in Oscar -y circles. I, I don't care. Neverland is the documentary about uh, Michael J. <laughs> no. Yes, Michael J. Michael Jackson, not Michael J. Fox. <laughs> no, please. No, that's Johnny Depp uh, as the dude. As who Michael wrote Peter Jackson. Pan. Yes. No, that's Charlie the Chocolate Factory. You got to that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, that was almost too stupid, but then it turned out to be great. <laughs> okay, Look at that right, alley oop. Right. That was nice. Here's something dumb for you. Try this on for a second. <laughs> yeah. World War Z. Yeah. yeah. You know, because yeah. World War Zombie, I guess. So World what World War I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the first one. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And then there's World War I I. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I thought I had somewhere to go, and I don't. <laughs> I, here, I I got an Eric. I got an Eric. The train for tracks you. are running out. I got, here you go. I'll help you out. <laughs> here <laughs> comes the cliff. I'm going to be the Judd Apatow to your Gary Shandling Thank and you. Uh, write you this joke. Thank you. World War Z. Probably should have called it World War Z, 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 because this thing put me to sleep. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Yes, that's good. Yes, that's, that's a good one. That's the good stuff. Yes. Well, I mean, Larry Sanders would never tell a joke so low. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, so uh, as much. Uh, with movies like this, the end of the world, you have to open your credits with uh, what's on TV. Uh, uh, oh, what's I, on TV? Uh, what's Wendy, on Wendy Williams is on TV, ladies and gentlemen. Wendy Williams <laughs> is on TV. A lot of nature footage is on TV, apparently. Uh -huh. sure. You know what's weird is just right before uh, Mark Foster, you know, he's on he's on location. You're just about to start shooting this movie, and 28 days later, it was on TV, and he just couldn't put it down. You know what I mean? It's like. That's a good movie. What oh, man. Oh, yeah. Took Hell a of a this. movie. What I have to do is the exact opposite of all that. <laughs> all that stuff needs to be put in the back seat for the front stuff, which is just making a big prestige blockbuster zombie movie. Here's an amazing thing. So this movie is 2013. This movie, uh, theatrically, was cowardly rated PG-13. Oh, fuck off. And here's the thing. We, at that point, were, of course, firmly... In a post Shaun of the Dead world. Oh, yeah. There is an R rated modern zombie movie that made a fuck ton of money. There's mm -hmm. absolutely yes. no excuse for this movie to be rated PG 13 theatrically. And 28 Days Later made a shit ton of money, too. Like, you know Humongous. what I mean? Like, it was, and obviously, like, honestly, I think that fucking The Walking Dead, which obviously this movie uh, wants to cash in on, is much more violent and grit and like absolutely. bloody and oh, stuff. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it, it just, it's insane that this movie is so bloodless. It's not a horror movie. It's, and I mean, like, 
this is why, why I didn't see this movie in theaters is why I didn't want to watch this last night, which is why I still haven't really watched The Last of Us. <laughs> I've been done with zombies yes, for a really yes. long time. I remember yep. seeing this when it came out in the theater. I haven't seen it since. But when I saw it, even when I saw it in the theater, it was begrudgingly because I was tired of yes. zombies then, 10 years ago. Uh-huh. And to your point earlier, er, earlier, dirter, <laughs> dirter, uh, 28 days later, it, yeah, it borrows so much. This is like, the exact same mechanics, right? Yes. It's a disease, and they're fast. And they're yep. fast, and it's grainy, and it's gritty, and it's and on the grainy. ground. Yeah, okay, there's there's a, that's the problem with yes. this movie. Yeah, like, that's true. The, the, Shaun of the Dead has jokes, legitimate big fucking laughs. Oh, it's a comedy. 28 Days Later. Also like, hilarious. Like, <laughs> it's got its moments. Blood, A. Yeah. What, what, it's what brutal. It? Brandon Gleeson. Get the fuck away from me! Yeah, that was I, pretty funny. We're still laughing about that to this day. Surprise birthday party! Oh, no. uh, oh is it? Get the fuck! Brendan Gleeson said, "Get the fuck away from me!" Isn't that Vengeance of Inisherin? Or uh, <laughs> it's been both movies actually brought it back. But like the rougher elements of those, the fact that it does yeah. look like that, and like the colors are all blown out like that. Yes, yeah. All those things add to the what gives it. This is literally just a prestige drama that they fucking threw fucking zombies in. Yep. It, it just, it's Zariana. Z, Z, <laughs> Z, Z Zariana. Zombiana. But we do get, speaking of zombies, you get some Pierce Morgan right, right up top and talking about Dude, God knows what. God There damn might it. be a zombie outbreak. That's the most horrifying image in the whole movie <laughs> yes. is fucking Pierce Morgan's That's ugly maw on my It's the only jump scare I got. <laughs> well, here's the thing is I thought, so I, I saw this movie sort of once before. Mm-hmm. And, and by that, I mean, uh, Late in the night once years ago, I downloaded like cam torrent and <laughs> fell asleep. Was it because Allegedly. I kept on talking about the ending? Because because the Pepsi machine. I, yes. I had yes. to I had to review this, and I when I tell you this when the when the Pepsi machine thing happens at the end of this. Yeah. I burst out laughing yeah. into a dead silence. Chris, Chris I always remember you talking about that moment to the point of which. I was expecting Brad Pitt to be surfing on the thing. At yes. The end. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a more integral no, part. Just saved humanity. What you need is a, a good Pepsi. Are you ready, Pepsi machine? You got it, Jerry. <laughs> Let's fight these zombies. <laughs> but like they all get the zombies get diabetes. And die too. I, you know, and I don't know. I I put it on and was kind of like, okay, I'm not hip to the whole like prestige you know, zombie drama because like zombie movies are supposed to be grody and yes. disgusting. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. want to smell them coming off the screen. Oh yeah. And you know, Brad Pitt's just so darn handsome in this movie. All I'm smelling right. is like pleasant cologne. You know, at the start of this film, when he's in Philadelphia, by the way, no. I thought the traffic was stopping because someone that looks like Brad Pitt showed up in Philadelphia. <laughs> Could you imagine? He's it, he is. Uh, it's not spe- the zombies. It's Brad Pitt. Like <laughs> what? A guy that looks like that in Philadelphia. He is especially pretty in this movie. With the long oh, like, hair, the, long, the scarf, yep. the fucking scarf. The oh, scarf sure. drives me insane. Well, that that scarf tells you that he's worldly. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you think that they shopped this with the M Night because of this Philadelphia connection? Or yeah, no? I wondered about that. I also then wondered if they didn't. If M. Night tried to put a cease and desist, like, <laughs> I'm the only one that makes weird shit in Philly, god damn it. I mean, the <laughs> opening is, like, happening. Yeah, it's very totally, much. Yeah. It feels like Because it, it's just, yeah. like, things happening. Bah, bah, you know, we're going around, mm-hmm. like, and then we just open up very much like uh, the opening of uh, Dawn of the Dead, uh, the second one, the new one. I was going to say, also very much like the opening of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, where they're talking about, uh, indeed, a virus that ravaged humanity <laughs> over the news but they're in bed the and like the kids door. come in and like it's like almost like a fake scare like because you're expecting some zombie stuff. It's like make us pancakes. <sighs> Worse than zombies, I, I say yes. that's oh, a, yep. that have to do this instead of just having to fend off a zombie. <laughs> and Jerry, it seems, has like Jerry. retired. For Jerry is Brad Pitt's character. Yes. Jerry t- Lane, by the way, which is what I imagine they call jaywalking in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Your lads, Jerry in the lane. Yeah, Jerry Lane. <laughs> what are you doing? Jerry Lane is also like someone who stars in fuck flicks. By yeah, the way. for sure. Like, yeah. That's no... yeah, probably a female star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jerry with a G, by the way. Very important. Wow. You, know yeah, yeah. Old, you know it is. Probably only one R. Too. Sometimes I spell Jerry with a G <laughs> and an I. <laughs> but 
it's like he's retired from war crimes to be a stay at home dad. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. even Mary Elinos' wife is like, Do you remember what that job did to you? It's like, that means he was like fucking sticking things up people's ass and like fucking but waterboarding it's, it's and weird whatever. The timeline we get, like, apparently he was like a military guy for the UN. Yeah. Yes. And there's talking about Sri Lanka in 07 and. Yeah. I don't know, da, 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 you know da, da, da. whatever. I, yeah, I I don't know how much of that is like related to real historical events, sure. but it is weird that this dude, who we're told worked for the UN, is like a super spy kind of Jason yes. Bourne dude. This <laughs> movie puts so much stock in the UN and stock in science and the globe, which has been proven. All this yes. has been proven completely and false. And caring about all, like COVID. caring about the fucking UN. Like, are, is anybody actually paying attention to what's going on in the UN? Yes, nerds. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but like generally, like a, 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 an audience, I, I'm just like, nobody, who, who no, cares? no, that no. never happens unless like someone comes to address the general assembly like Superman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then right. everybody pays attention to what's going on down there. But the United States have never, has never ever, to Eric's point, cared about the UN, has never cared about science, has never cared about... Because that's the thing, post-COVID, it's like, yeah, that, you're fucked. I mean, that's the thing. But the, yes, but the end of this movie, having, like, you got... Every, now, okay, everyone, yes, it's a disease. Inject yourself with... Uh, I just... I had so many flashbacks to the whole... Well, it's fascinating, that, right? Because know, in, in the world of, of World War Z, there wasn't a bunch of fucking assholes mm. running roughshod right. across all media spaces you know, spewing disinformation yeah. and telling people not to take it. This was like, hey, there be zombies. Yes. This protect you from them zombies. <laughs> take shot, no die. All I those people so. are in their ha- are in their apartments or their houses, in their rooms, and they're being eaten. Like yeah. they're, they're not out there making their opinions or anything Ooh. like that. I ain't wearing a mat. Oh yeah, so I'm supposed to shoot a zombie in the head. <laughs> Got it, <laughs> honey. Just look. I told you, don't ask me about my old job. Look, one minute there was a Syrian wedding there, the other time it wasn't. You know, <laughs> yeah. happens like that. Hole in the ground used to be a wedding. So the government's telling me I'm supposed to help help defeat the zombies. I don't think I like the zombies now. <laughs> now that the government said I should destroy them, I like them. Marjorie Taylor Greene would suck off a zombie. Yeah. Oh, she of absolutely course. Would. That's part of her CrossFit. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking jumping on zombie dicks, jerking them off. What, and all that. Is anybody asking how the zombies feel? I mean, I think this is an obvious point that nobody wants to bring up, but we are maybe just as bad as the zombies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> A zombie never wore a dress and tried to read to children, so <laughs> yep. heaven the fuck forbid. Hey, I think I'm voting zombie for president this year. And not like an old politician zombie, <laughs> no. like an actual yeah. undead monster. Oh, yeah, another vote for me. Oh, amazing. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think both, both tickets are going to have zombies. <laughs> yeah. Just chock full of zombies on each side. Uh, but so, like, yeah. like, All right, sweetheart, here's your pancakes. You know, I... I did shoot a little girl, a little younger than you, in the head three years ago in a war zone. But, you know, I'll just keep that's that. what, dude, that's when he holds over them when uh, they're like misbehaving and whatnot. He's just like, I don't want pancakes. <laughs> you know, uh, one time I shot a little girl right in the face. She looked just <laughs> like you. And you know what? I bet she wishes she was alive to eat pancakes right now. The daughter of a certain drug trafficker <laughs> who was sort of begging for her life might have had an issue like this. Her daddy was passing out leftist leaflets. <laughs> Kaboom! Bye-bye, see- daddy! Bye-bye! Did you see the end of Sicario? Kind of like that. Kind of what he did to that nice house is what I would do to this place. Uh, but, like, he... But dude, this fucking commute where they're in the they're in the I guess they're in the suburbs driving into main the mainstream fucking Philadelphia, midtown Philadelphia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Especially Yowza. on the morning of a zombie apocalypse Ooh, outbreak. It's a tough one. Oh my god, the fucking gridlock. Why well, use the bus? What's wrong with the bus? Yeah, is exactly. there's a problem here? What is um Muriel Enos's character supposed to do for a living? Do we get that at all? Uh, she's Brad Pitt's wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is her job. It's her job. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, it's a- uh, you can tell that she's a lady, she's got a bow in her hair. She's got nothing. <laughs> to do in this movie yeah, absolutely not i'll which tell is, you the an alternate yeah. para- path for her character which is insane that the, may or may not have been filmed i yeah. remember that yeah it's so in the what do we go when we get there uh but uh so they leave the house for reasons i don't know and yeah. they're driving down the street and it's like oh traffic jam got all cars in a beach got set. oh wait turn down the dave matthews what's <laughs> happening oh my god zombies well, and it's like a dump truck well a cop car flies by and breaks off his side mirror yeah. and he gets out of the car to be like, hey, 
what's going on out here? Because I'm a scientist or something. Well, he is so lo-fi this entire movie. Like, yep. he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's the thing about Brad Pitt is like when he gets a character that he can actually like kind of sink his teeth into, you can see it happen. But when it's like, hey, Brad Pitt, just be in a regular movie, like, got it. Oh no, zombie! Nice guy, not good for him. That is what is a nice guy is also not good for him uh, in real life either. Also, if you believe it, yeah, true. Uh, Here's the thing though, Um, nice guy. Oh, here's the thing. That's crazy. Sure, because Uh. he. And his production company, Plan B, fought like snakes to yeah. fucking option this. They were fighting against Leo DiCaprio's yes. production company. They put all this money into licensing the fucking book, like a million dollar advance for this fucking thing. Ridiculous. And then, like, he gets there, and it's just like, you know, I I guess it's like, well, part of the deal is like Brad stars in the movie if sure. we can license but it. Apparently, they use nothing from the book. Is that right? Now, the book yeah. was yeah. written by, it's Mel Brooks's son. I believe that's his full name. Yes. <laughs> and, Max uh, Mel Brooks's son. Brooks. Right. And so they're just licensing it for the title? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. I guess it's a good title. It was well, a huge was, book. It was, it was a, a wi- huge book. It's it the a- Weinstein playbook. If it sounds like something that a fucking teenager will buy a ticket for, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Just looking at the production well. stuff, it just, it, there was a script that was very, that was close enough to the, because the book itself doesn't really have a narrative. It's more like uh, interviews about the actual, what would happen in the z- zombie apocalypse and like stories told in that vein. And this was like, oh, at first, was like, hey, we'll have a character that actually does the interviews. And it's like, well, what if the character doesn't do the interviews? What if this happens? What if, it, what if it's exactly World War Z and right. it's only in time? You know what, what I mean? Like what just, if we just made yeah. it like Zero Dark Thirty or something? Maybe. <laughs> what if it's kind of about globalism? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know really what the, like. No, I this guess, movie isn't saying anything. Don't even try to I, it's, well, of, course it's not, of course it's not saying anything. <laughs> I think it might have a pretense that it's trying to. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, but <laughs> I, I think, because I think they always say, Mark yeah. Forster especially yeah. loves there, saying that shit. There is some interesting political things that yes. we'll, we'll get into. We, we, it, it's it's bad, but I mean, it's funny because he does, he's like, he's there's a, a delivery guy and he's like, oh, because I, I, I connect with the, uh, yeah. the people on, uh, below oh, me. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. What's going on? <laughs> no, Do you I, know I, what's I, going on down there? <laughs> Karen, Karen, I've been in lots of war zones. L- l- watch how I talk to this guy. Hey, dude. <laughs> I want to say dude to these people. Okay, just it eases a, them. It's a okay. colloquial <laughs> greeting from this area. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> now, don't move your hands a lot. You'll know, get scared. I hey, s- wait, wait. We're we're in downtown Philly. I got I gotta go. Hang on. I say, hey, dude. What's with that John down there? <laughs> <laughs> And Do you think the Sixers have it this year? <laughs> I don't know what I did there, sweetheart. See, now the, the answer's always no, but you say that to play King. Oh, okay, he's a little nervous. I'm going to try to climb the lamppost so he sees that I'm much like his fans. I, I, Eagles fan, yes. <laughs> See, I, I do the same thing, yes. Climbed to the top of that lamppost and took a shit back down to the ground. Um, They're accepting do... us into the tribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, no, 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 no. Honey, honey, drink the yingling. Drink the, they're going to find it offensive if you don't drink the yingling. Honey, we're steps away from being welcomed into Eagles Nation, and they're going to tell us what's going on with those zombies. No, I know it's on actual black and tan. Just drink it. It's, 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 no, cheese whiz is kind of disgusting, but you're, you're just going to have to eat this just sandwich. Fucking eat, eat, eat the fucking sandwich. I do love, uh, so he was like, he was like, I don't know, man. And he goes back in his car. I was like, well, that was weird. And then, like, this cop is like, hey, stay in your... And he gets Dude. fucking clipped so hard. It's so best awesome. It's the, the best death of the movie. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, and the only reason they allow it is because there's no splatter and yeah. it's clearly a cartoon character yeah. getting hit by that garbage <laughs> truck. But, like, there's all these... I The Department of Sanitation was just kind of like, you know what? They're going to make us clean up all these zombie bodies. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this. Out of the way! <laughs> Talk to my rep! <laughs> yeah, totally. this garbage truck that just rams everyone. And Brad Pitt has the smart idea. We'll just follow the garbage truck. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know, you get, uh, you know, you got a good dude who's pushing dudes out of the way and you're holding the football, man. You just follow the okay. path. That's Ambulance right. chasing. You can do it for other kinds of big you, cars. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And funnily enough, in the in the trivia for this, Andrew and I discovered there's uh, movie cliche number 25. Or, uh, dude, is this cinema those, I'm going to I'll pull it up, Steve. You, you, you set up but, what's going on. But here. look, there's just a bunch of like, Movie cliche: The zombies would shouldn't do this or that. That's like some guy on okay. having fun in IMDb trivia. Well, the movie cliche they missed is the fucking 
little girl with the asthma. Anytime someone has Ooh. asthma in a movie mm. or insulin, it's like, oh, no, how are we going to do the thing because of the asthma? Immediately, she doesn't have her right. asthma puffer, and it's like a big fucking problem. Their life automatically becomes more important. Hollywood cliche number 27. Humans who will become zombies can never visit a dentist. What? What? I don't know. Is that in the movie? Well, no, I think that some of the zombie teeth are messed up because it makes them look Oh, oh, okay. Is but that, one is that of trivia. But one of those was the fucking girl with the inhaler. No, 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 it's not. No, the, 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 no, they don't, they don't mention. One. I mentioned sorry, I got, I got a couple more here. A Hollywood cliche number twenty-five: Zombies have remarkable muscle tone, well, yet poor muscle control. No, ooh, okay, food for thought. Boy, this is def- this is a list of things I care Let's about. Let's do a few more. This is there's only one more. So this is the final one. At 11 minutes and 51 seconds, Hollywood cliche number 23. The engine was working just a few minutes ago. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, because the car is Like, if you're out there and you wrote that, fuck you. (laughs) Like, you ruined my day, dude. You literally, like, the trivia section is for trivia. It's sacred. Not for your fucking grudges. Cliche number 53. The uh, the airline hostess doesn't even check the elevator on the airplane before pushing the button. It just, it happens all the time, folks. It's just wow, these people that submit things to the internet movie database really steam my clams. You're just, you're just photocopying executive decisions. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so we're watching Brad Pitt because he's a super genius guy that's tortured enough people that it, I guess when you torture enough people, you you take their knowledge, kind yes, of like actually, how Native yeah, the, Americans believe the Wendigo does that. You know, when you eat yeah, somebody, totally. you take mm-hmm. their or what I firmly believe happens when one human being consumes the flesh of another. Mm, okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, you're just you taking, take their essence. You're just taking Ravenous's gospel now. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. it is gospel. It's better he, than church. <laughs> He know, he's a genius, so he sees some guy fall to the ground. He's like, well, you know what? I'm going to start counting to see how long it takes for this guy to get up. 12 seconds. Honey, that's how long it takes for a zombie to become a zombie. Yeah. It's 12. I figured it out. It's 12 seconds. He's- and there's a way to do this where it's like, here's a guy who is like piecing together sure. what is happening. But like, when you introduce that character, I need to be told that this guy's like a virologist. Yes, exactly. He's like Sherlock. It. Like, if he can do shit like that, yeah, that's sure. Sherlock shit. That's yes. just like, yes. oh, in the middle of this panic situation, I could slow everything down yes. and remember that it's 12 seconds <laughs> exactly. I also remember the shirt my daughter is wearing, <laughs> the building across the street, and the man hanging out of it. So they're driving. They're like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. We have to. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. They, they have to switch to the, the RV. Because You know why they got to switch to the RV? Because oh, they a- get in a car accident. Do you know why they get in the car accident? Because their fucking kid, this rotten little girl, yeah. is like sitting on the floor of the car. And the both of them, these idiotic parents, are both turned like, honey, you got to put your buckle on, honey. And I was like, I think Brad Pitt should be watching the boom, boom. But they get fucked up yeah. because of this stupid little girl. Yeah, well, they should have just it. took her like a football and threw it into the zombie horn and <laughs> yeah. ran. You, you know? know what? Dead weight, dude. Yeah. She's fucking catatonic for the rest of the movie anyway. Chow down, boys. Uh, <laughs> they they then find an R, uh, luckily placed RV that they get into. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, a battle van that has like all these guns in it and shit. <laughs> yeah. Which is it's convenient. convenient. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice. And uh, wouldn't you know it, to Steve's point here, movie cliche, it's like, uh-oh, we have to stop off because she lost her puff. What's also funny about this, too, is by then, the, he's already had this phone call with the guy at the UN whose name's Terry. Terry. <laughs> and this is Terry, Jerry, Terry calling Terry. Screenplay, you can't do Listen, it. You, you got, just can't you do it. You gotta be nice to the UN or Terry's gonna send Jerry over here and he's gonna <laughs> torture everyone. But you'd much rather be talking to Terry on the phone than dealing with Jerry in real life. <laughs> I forget. I think it's one of them that actually tries to say Terry. Because yeah, it's the, but, the, like, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. One, one person. There, yeah. It but, is the fr- it's the, for the French spelling, uh, you know, much yeah. like Terry Henry, T-H-I-E-R-R-Y. So I think they were just getting confused too. <laughs> Terry A call, you know, call, you know, they talked to him on the phone and he's like, yeah, okay, you're on I-95 or whatever. Okay, yeah, you're 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 getting near Newark. We're going to send a helicopter. We'll be there in 90 minutes. Yeah, okay. I think I'll just go now wander, go grocery shopping. 
the because helicopter of the helicopter is coming. I would also like because you're the most special torturer we have. We need you right now. Yeah, right. It'd be great if when he gets there, like, listen, fuck this up. We have a couple of political assassinations. We need you to come out of retirement for like the listen, time is right. It. It's go frame, time. Frame the zombies. You're gonna take this zombie. You're gonna throw it at the archduke or, or whatever. <laughs> the archduke. Well, that, so because Tyrion tells him that they're, they're at this supermarket. Tyrion tells them. Uh, we're not going to be able to get a, a helicopter out to, to you until tomorrow morning. That's the earliest yeah. I can get it to you. Yes. He just says, okay, apartment 23 yes. something. And he's like, okay, yeah, we'll find it. Don't worry. No, we no got worries. That. We, oh, we got that. We got that. Just, oh, you're going to put a flare up? No, that's and all you need to do. Just, and it's not their apartment. It's a random apartment yes. in Newark. Yeah, just a random one next to this supermarket. And like the supermarket scene, there's a plenty of food. <laughs> like, like yes. that's what's so funny about it is like yeah. she's just like she doesn't have to search for anything. She's like, okay, here's, oh, there's some oh, oh there's just, corn. She's read labels. Yeah. <laughs> she's, hey, Jerry, I know it's a zombie apocalypse, but are you cool with low sodium progresso or what? Do you? Th- hey, hon, do you think that maybe the UN complex we're going to might have low sodium progresso already? <laughs> All right, these chicken breasts aren't organic, but I think we'll be able to get through it. Honey. I, I took a number, and the butcher's not coming. <laughs> I have been waiting for 15 minutes. Where's the butcher? Is there a manager? <laughs> well, I mean, oh, that's the, the staff's th- dead tired. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. That's the thing about, again, this was when I saw the grocery store scene, I was like, this is why I don't watch zombie shit anymore. Because I am, especially after 2020, I am positive that I will die in a grocery store mm-hmm. fighting over th- luxuries that I've taken for granted my entire life. Yep. I know that's coming. Yeah, Why no. do I need to watch that every year? You know yep. what I mean? Like, right. I'm not going to watch a fucking show about a guy drowning in student debt. I'm living it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally true, man. It's like, I got zombies fucking eating me to death out here. I don't need to watch a fucking movie about it. I mean, th- th- that is true, though. And this grocery store scene specifically, because, like, in those early days of the fucking Pandy, sure. dude, I literally, we're recording here, it's a very rainy day here in New York. Um, I had to stand outside the grocery store in the rain, like the waning days of the Soviet Union. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to be let in. For, like, there's no way I'd be able to battle somebody Hold over a did. gallon jug of Poland spring water. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? You're done. You're done. No, just the suicide town, let's fucking mm. do it. They'll be like, oh, uh, you forgot your ass was puffer. That, that'll make it easier. Uh, we're just going yep, to totally. get this right. hose going into our car here. <laughs> we're going to die as a family, sweetheart. The that world would be great. The world would be handed over to those like 68 year olds who buy 12 packs of Poland Spring every time they go to the grocery store. <laughs> oh, they yeah. just, they just it. add it on. Yep. You, say, you know what? I might as well. Oh, that's my parents, dude. My family. <laughs> oh, my God. You go to my parents' house. If you're thirsty, dude, you'll be able to drink for months. They they are never running low on bottled beverages. Absolutely not. <laughs> Poland Spring, the little tiny water ones. Yeah, yeah, oh, my little, God. Little oh. ones. I love those. You go down to my parents' basement. It's like the fucking Ark of the Covenant <laughs> warehouse just with Poland Spring little Man, cans. Hey, Absolutely. Mom, Mom, where's the Poland Spring? What is it? Christmas? Drink the Nestle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, there is some off-brand bottled water as well. But so they're in the grocery store and everything's going fine, except in the pharmacy. Brad Pitt's trying to fucking find some albuterol, uh, you know, puffer canisters uh. there. And some dude comes out and he's got a gun. Yeah. And I'm just like so exhausted already. And uh, it turns out, uh oh, it's not a bad guy with a gun, you guys. It's a good, <laughs> good guy, guy with, with a gun. Because oh. like, here's this dude. He looks like a fucking gross tweaker. Yeah. And you're like, here it comes. And, and Brad Pitt, like Jerry himself, is ready to lay the death blow on this guy. And then it's just like, yeah, they uh, they grow out of that eventually. My girls did. Yeah. Here's all your albuterol. These vitamins make it easier, too. You have a blessed day now. <laughs> and I was like, no, this guy was ready to chew which, your throat out. Which is the big problem with this movie. World War Z. Yeah. A lot of world, some Z, uh-huh. almost no war at all. No. Yeah. Almost absolute. Like the percentages of Z and the percentages of war are way <laughs> over the world. Well, yeah. Steve, does it, 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 doesn't it just bloom in your imagination since it's all off screen? <laughs> Don't you just get to be, uh, believe the, anything you I love like? The Thirteen seconds of Soviet uh, of Russian war at the end of the movie. That's really exciting. <laughs> that was that was that was taped together from the originally yes. filmed ending for this movie, uh. which was like. The battle for Moscow. Yeah, okay, great. And everybody was like, like, it's a total no-win scenario because everybody who was like involved in making the movie was like, 
boy, that's a fucking bummer because we thought we were really making a human drama or yeah. whatever, oh, yeah. and now it's an action movie at the end. I don't want it either. <laughs> exactly. Way. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go back and reshoot, do a huge reshoot, get David Lindelof involved. Oh yeah. And have a fucking a human drama ending, which also sucks. Also, yeah. like, if you're calling they all suck. World War Z, I want like a general that's a zombie. You yeah. Know? Oh. Guys in uniform. Dude. Don't you fucking dare try to make this fun. <laughs> well, you watch yourself there, Mister. All right, those like, zombies took the beach. We're gonna take the beach back, boys. You know, like exactly. something like that. Or yeah. you, you need a really like gaudily adorned, like Muammar Gaddafi kind of mm. general, but it's a zombie. Here yep. you go. World yep. War Z, you got Brad Pitt. Get Aldo Rain around Ooh, here. Yeah. I want my zombie right. scalps. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was that, uh, when the hell was Inglorious? When did that come out? Was oh, that before seven? this? No, oh, it was yeah, way yeah. before yeah, this. 2009. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. It's um, not 2007, but 2009, I think. So we make it to this fucking, someone steals the RV. Nobody gives a shit. They just steal another car and they get to this apartment building. And we're going through... Not like in the movie uh, 28 Days Later. Mm. Oh, and we're going through an apartment building with zombies, much like uh, the film uh, Dawn of the Dead 1978. Uh, the beginning there. So we're, we're going up the stairs and everything. And of course, it's disgusting apartment building. Not <laughs> only are zombies Newark. around, it's in Newark, New Jersey, so there's spray paint on all the oh, walls scary. everywhere. Scary. Everywhere. Oh, wait, uh, uh, honey, I'm going to have to speak to these locals. Uh, oh, oh, let me just change I apologize that the Nets left to Brooklyn. Is it, <laughs> is it okay if I if I have some of your beer? <laughs> beer? We enjoy your local your local Prudential Center. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should have had, dude. A bunch of folks gathering at the Rock and whatnot for yeah. safety. Uh, so yeah, they, they uh, the little girl like finds this apartment. Yes. And She's like, let us in, let us in. Like, hey, like, sorry, sweetheart, I got my own fucking problems. <laughs> yeah, good luck dying out there. Uh, so We're this... waiting to die inside. <laughs> right. You have to yeah. die outside. And this family like, kindly lets them in. Yes. And it's a thing where, like, the little boy has to translate for the parents who only speak Spanish. Tommy is a little boy. Yes, t- Tommy. And here's something. Tommy, can you hear me? <laughs> Uh, no, just like, again, just with the product placement yeah. in this movie. And in this instance, I think either it's like this guy doesn't want to give up the good stuff to Brad Pitt mm-hmm. or what's going on here. But the dude is like Cerveza uh-huh. and Brad Pitt is like, you know, see, si, gracias. And the dude just gives him an ice cold, sparkling bud heavy. Yeah, and you're just like, I don't want to be presumptuous here, but. There's a lot more delicious options that this fella could be offering this guy. That's what I'm saying. Also, I know traditions die hard. After a a, a workout, like running from zombies, you want a cold beer, but maybe a water. (laughs) Yeah, I I understand, you know, it's it's a hard day and all, but, you know, zombies trying to eat you. That's actually fascinating, right? Because he's chugging Budweiser and Pepsi throughout this movie. <laughs> That's how you get that huh. Brad Pitt physique, dude. He's just chug both those and things. he's just Man. farting the most noxious shit you ever smelled. <laughs> If, also, if that's his whole thing, it's just soda and fucking beer or whatever he's eating. Oh, and yeah. also, like, the gorgeous long hair he has. I never see him condition in this film once. Well, and I mean, true. like, that would be, I don't think that's going to be on the battle boat that he's going on. <laughs> like, that would be some greasy, gnarly shit and up one, there. Once he gets to Terry, yeah. they should be like, okay, where's all the conditioner? Where's the <laughs> last conditioner on the planet? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> dude. Yeah. What well, do you let, mean you have Pert Plus? That's not good <laughs> enough. Well, that's I, the one I thing. need a tactical comb to go to South Korea. <laughs> that's what Mariel Enos grabbed in the grocery store. Honey, they don't have they don't have Pantene. You better not be grabbing per plus, woman. Look, it's er- for so, look for something with tea tree oil. <laughs> tea tree oil. What her- herbal essences work? <laughs> what did I tell you about the two in ones? They don't work. I need separate conditioner. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's some conditioner. It always works for me. Yeah, here's some <laughs> tea tree oil. Yeah. Some kind of. You sure, you sure you don't want food? There's like well, we're running out of food here. I mean, my husband really loves his hair. Okay. Uh, Shit, honey, they only have the bars of Neutrogena, not the pump. All right, I'll just take the can of beans, can of beans, can of beans. I mean, I'm just, I'll take all the cans of beans if you're not going to have the cans of beans. Bean dinner for that guy, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so you know, they rest up here for a little bit. He. Brad Pitt as Jerry uh, turns on a radio and it's like the state of New Jersey says you should stay inside now and blah, 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 blah. 
Chris some... Christie is dead, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A nation become, mourns. He's become a super zombie. <laughs> oh, dude, they can't. He, In a uh, sea of fast moving zombies, Chris Christie is still a traditional slow moving zombie. Can't can't believe it, but he is actually growing. He is eating the bridge. Can you believe it? Dude, zombie kaiju movie with Chris Christie as the only zombie? Yeah, I'd probably the, watch that. Uh, 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 on the radio, uh, something that's never been uttered ever Minnesota safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it. They they made it out. I guess. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, New Jersey's fucked. Sorry, folks. And like Jerry uh, wakes up, he's a nightmare. He realizes he looks for his daughter, and she's he's, he finds her in like Tommy's bedroom. He's like, she had a nightmare. I was just being a very nice kid. And it's like, oh, okay, thanks, man. Yeah, Yo, you're you're cool, dude. Yeah, high five. That's cool. Uh, your parents aren't going to be dead in twenty minutes, are they? Because <laughs> like, so it's after he wakes up from that nightmare, it's like, all right, we've rested enough. Let's get up to the roof and wait for the helicopter to come. First, he uses almost all this guy's duct tape. I mean, like <laughs> in a fucking in a zombie apocalypse, you want to keep your duct yeah. tape. But this guy, this family, like, oh yeah, you could have you could have a. Can I have some, can I use some, of your, some of your duct tape? Sure. All of it. I think that this guy, though, I mean, they're dead in seconds anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but, like, this guy, he's he's kind of like um, Betty White in uh, uh, Hard Rain. Uh-huh. Like, they are refusing yes. to leave that apartment. Yeah. So I think this dude's kind of like, yeah, take it. I'm not going to need it. I'm safe in my Newark, New Jersey apartment. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's, he, he makes a bayonet, which is kind of cool. That's something. Yeah, it's kind of it's a cool idea because he, he has a rifle from the, the You truck. don't really get to see him use it. He uh, used it once. I mean, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, we saw him take longer to fashion it than we saw him yes. use it. Yeah, he falls down with it, which is exhilarating. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, yeah, like you would imagine, like, oh, I'm not scared of no zombies. This is New Jersey. I'm going to throw some of our water at him. He's going to melt. <laughs> He's just going to go down to bone. <laughs> Honey, what's what's that smell? Honey, that's just New Jersey. It's okay. <laughs> that's where You're we okay. are. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Why do I just find, feel this intense dread about everything? New Jersey. That's That, that right there is the New Jersey. That's not the zombies. Um, but so they make their way up to the roof. The guy's like, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Immediately that they're here. besieged by zombies. Like, and I think it's kind of Jerry's fault on the way out. Oh, yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's over there. Hey, it's a nice family in there for you to kill. Why don't you go get them? <laughs> uh, leave my family out of it. Because uh, we get up to the roof and like he, Jerry is holding the door closed where everybody can run out. Uh, and then like, oh, well, now Jerry's going to run. And like, here comes the zombies. And it's the, the first one out the door is the dad yes, that refused to leave. And you're like, shit, that was quick. And the kid, T- Tommy, comes up before them. Yes. It's like obvious that it went really south. And like, he's coming with us. And who should save them? Matthew Fox with two and a half lines. For what? Well, uh-huh. Because yeah. in, there's oh, a version yeah. of the screenplay, or I think they might have. This might have been filmed. In oh, the, I don't know about that. In Maybe the, in the version wherein it ends in a in a big war and an actual World War Z. The Russia, battle for Moscow. In the battle for <laughs> Moscow version, the uh, Meryl Enos goes to a different refugee camp. That like Matthew Fox is kind of running, and she has to like sleep with him for favors. What? Wow. Yeah. She calls uh, when when Jerry finally gets in touch with him. And Matthew Fox is like, "Hey man, you better not come back from Moscow. This lady's <laughs> mine." Okay. Setting up World War Z two. Matthew Fox v Brad Pitt. What, what the fuck world would what? that exist in? When did does anybody remember when The Walking Dead started? Was it like two thousand ten? Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah, so it, was, it, was, right it, was, it was 10, I think. Yeah. But uh, Chris, you were right about Inglorious Bastards being 09. Yeah. Oh, 09. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, 20, yeah. 2010, that, Walking Dead. 2010. Yeah. And I mean, I just, that show was already doing all of this. the people turn evil to, like, to do a movie about that, yes. like I'm just glad that that has the, not happened. Well, I mean, the fucking the Matthew Fox thing is literally the Shane and fucking uh, the main character yes, yeah. with the wife. Like that's yes, the, literally the triangle. He's like the big, he's a big strong one that's oh, gonna take yeah. care of everybody. Yeah, you're everybody. right. Back when that show was pretty good. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like, God, they remember came- that? Oh, that show being good. That was nice. Oh. I didn't even recognize Matthew Fox though. Yeah, and that whole part, either. I yeah, really either. didn't. Apparently, it, it is, if the count on IMDb is, do we believe he's got, like, five lines? Of course. That's, that's it. He gets, Great. They get, they get in the helicopter, and then they go to Battle Boat. 
because that was too exciting. And now, I mean, literally, the rest of the movie is pretty boring. I'm not even kidding. It's yeah. so it kind of is. boring. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. So it's I, all about like tracing the origin. It's very like COVID. I, I it, it, yeah, dude. I, it was weird watching this. He's was. trying to find patient zero. It yada. picked. It picked up a little bit with the airplane thing, but that's about yes. it. Uh, they, and they like, get there, like, oh, thank you, my very special political assassin is here. Thank God. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, I would, I would even like, I think, it, like, if it was a genuine, if it was like a who done it, and like trying to find Patient Zero and like going insane trying yes. to do that, yeah, that would even be more interesting to me. Than that this. is something. I mean, they made it's a kind of a ridiculous movie, but it's way more watchable than this. Outbreak is literally yes. about that. Yeah, right. it is trying to find the Patient Zero, and then Dustin Hoffman is like. Yeah, the patient zero monkeys on the fence. We gotta kill them. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yes, yes. Please, please don't do it. I, I also love here how dumb Brad Pitt is because he's just like, okay, yeah, you brought me here, Terry. Now I'm just gonna live my. No, no, we. You're gonna do something. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I don't. I, my, my doing stuff days is behind. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you know. I'm retired. It's like, yeah. Um, look around. Everyone <laughs> is doing hey. something. If you if you hate. If you're leading, you could be cleaning, my exactly. friend. Hey, man, do you got some data that needs analyzing? I'm right here for you, yeah. man. <laughs> so the no, whole actually, thing. we want you to go out into the field. Yes, they want him to take this young, this young doctor. I guess the only one left. Oh, yeah, the this last guy. Oh, Fosbach. Fosbach, <laughs> yes. Dr. Fosbach to South Korea to find patient zero to then question mark a vaccine out of that. <laughs> did I get so I, 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 there's a lot of talk here and I swore I heard the vice president's a zombie. Well, no, the, the president the, is the, dead. The president's, president's dead. dead. The, the vice president is missing. I oh, oh, man. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, I'm Barack Obama, and I'm dead. <laughs> Four Supreme Court justices have been taken out, and I was like, shit, man, hope it's the right ones. <laughs> oh, no, Gorsuch would still be there. <laughs> oh, he's already a zombie. Oh. That dude will eat flesh. Ooh. He wasn't appointed yet, though, on the timeline. That's true. Right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Although I don't know when this takes place. It's a good question. Some future. I mean, Is yeah, it I don't future? Know. No, it's scary because it's now. Oh, oh dude, course. it could happen any second. That's uh-huh. right. There's a line here where, like, they see their quarters uh on the on the battleship here and this dude Thierry is like hey man you know your bunks are six eight and three and they're all numbered or whatever and again man these fucking privileged fucks yeah he's looking around like is that it <laughs> yeah fuck it what the fuck is that <laughs> it and she has to be she turns to mario enos turns around and she's like well, honey, it's bigger than our apartment back on 72nd Street when we were younger. <laughs> and I was like, Always. that's what you get for living on fucking 72nd Street yeah. on either side of the island. I guess that's why they moved to Philadelphia. Yeah, I Always there. look on the bright <laughs> side of your life. <laughs> I wish Come Terry- on, baby. We're not dead. <laughs> I wish Terry was like, uh, all right, so you've got bunks. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't know you were bringing this extra kid. We we can't have him. Yeah, we got to kill him. Sorry. <laughs> Look, just, you know what? Get him up to the deck. Leave him alone. That's all you got to do. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Be like, look, look at the ocean out there. And then you hope for a strong breeze. <laughs> AKA my man Bruto over here is going to push him overboard. That's We've got some happen. tier one operators here, baby. We can, <laughs> we, we can take care of this. Well, there's this great moment because he, he leaves. He goes to Miralina. Miralina has to be, of course, because she, she has nothing to do with this movie. She has to be like, you can't do that. Oh, no. It's so, would you remember what you're li- you were like back then or whatever horse shit that that is yeah uh, it's just i uh, who could care you weren't and, wearing the scarf you didn't have as much <laughs> eyeshadow on <laughs> and he leaves he says goodbye to marilyn this is he goes to tommy he's like hey tough guy you can take care of the girls you're not uh horrifically traumatized by the death of you, all your entire family right yeah we're friends we're you're good you're buddy you're good you're a strong little buddy <laughs> kind of own you now uh just fyi uh well, like listen now you're in this family i'm gonna set some rules here uh, if you're leaning you could be clean <laughs> No, the kids should be like uh, like Marge when they come back to the house and she's shaking exactly. and the hair's coming out. Yes. Like that should be about where that kid is right now. There is a great thing. So we go to like a control room area where there's all these people making calls and analyzing sure. things or whatnot. Yeah. And you have one guy that they keep cutting back to because I guess this was the dude in the room that had a SAG card and he's like, <laughs> he's got real dumbass lines like how the hell do i know if russia's fallen yeah, and i'm just like this no, keeps getting worse nothing and i mean fucking nothing as stu- <laughs> is as stupid 
as saying Mother Nature is a serial killer. That's oh, coming sure. up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right here. Bad. That's, that's right true. Here. Mother Nature's a serial killer. She wears clown makeup. <laughs> gets kids to come into her basement. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> Mother Nature's Jack the Ripper. She hunts out prostitutes on foggy London nights every week. Mother Who Nature, else create, she creates the fog. <laughs> Mother That's Nature will wear a cast and ask you to help move a couch into her van. <laughs> but don't do it. Don't let. Don't go into Mother Nature's van. <laughs> Mother Nature's such a serial killer. She's actually copying the crimes of other serial killers <laughs> while she's out there doing her serial killing. What would Mother Nature need with a van? <laughs> uh, why would God need a starship? Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, that's this because that's this this doctor is telling Brad Pitt, it's like we're gonna find him because Mother Nature's a serial killer. Uh. She wants to be caught, and she's leaving all these clues. And just when you think it's mm-hmm. like the 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 virus is too strong, that's probably the biggest clue of them all. Right, the strength is. The wait, the weakness is in the strength. Yeah, huh, huh. the weakness is the weakness. Got it. I just, you know what? Because like he says it in the scene. So we're, this is, by the way, we are en route to South Korea at this yes. point. We're on the airplane, and he's doing all that, and you're just kind of like, who is this for, and yes. why? And then the funny thing is, like, <laughs> later in the movie, Brad Pitt like thinks back to yes. that guy's like whole speech, and you're just like. It was dumb the first time, somehow dumber the second time because it's like he's remembering the entire voiceover. It's the he's doing that. Like, I guess because like, it's it's a fake out. We're like, oh, this here comes the new character. Nope. Only Brad Pitt can be in this movie. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. no one but, but Brad Pitt is allowed I, to be I, in this movie. Yes, it, it, it's weird and bad, but like just randomly killing this guy. It's pretty funny. It's, it's funny, yeah. So they land it's at good. the base in South Korea, and it's like, all right, you know, we're going to get out, and everybody's got to be quiet, and our like dudes are going to go out first, and all right, it's raining. A couple guys go out nice and quiet. We're walking across this tarmac, and then it's like, uh oh, zombie time. And like they try to turn tail. A couple of these seals get taken out right here. And then this fucking doctor who Brad Pitt has given a gun. Yes. And he has to say shit like, don't stand there with your finger on the trigger. Like clearly this guy doesn't know how to use a firearm. And the dude goes to run back up the fucking walkway to the plane or whatever, the ramp, and he falls and shoots himself in the head. It's pretty good. What an idiot oh yeah and what james, a total idiot james batch daily is right there to make fun of him too a little bit like, <laughs> yeah I, I, I appreciate that yeah, it was like oh wait so that was the guy that was our big <laughs> hero right there just shot himself with the fucking teeth excellent <laughs> james batch Dale went into his mental closet got his iron man character out he's like yeah, i'll put i'll wear this for today yeah. absolutely uh yeah we meet james batch Dale and uh michael weisman who yes. are two of these seals here and they after that fucking hilarious doctor death, they get, of course, the untouchable Jerry uh, into the base. And we're getting a little bit of the history here. And, like, this is where it, the movie gets kind of interesting for a little bit. Because sure. they're talking about, like, oh, yeah, like, all the dudes that, like, there was the 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 doctor from the base got called into a village to go yes. check out. You know, someone was ill and he went to go check out what was going on. Uh, and the dude fucking got bit or he whatever was there to like from the autopsy or something yes. and the, they were the it was a zombie it was the first one tied yeah. up and it bites him and he goes back to the hospital and, da, and da, 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 da. turns <laughs> and they started putting all the infected dudes like into a jail cell and uh then at some point they either the zombies lit themselves on fire or they burned them down one of the guys did but it's just it's actually kind of a cool like brad pitt's just walking in a room full of ash that's yes. a good image and like if yeah. you had actually used it to get some dread going yes maybe it'd be something but oh, no of course not how about the dread in the form of isn't north korea scary oh, oh my God. dude this is it, where this, we could uh, be doing this it. is the dumbest thing i've ever heard <laughs> yes, in yes. my life yeah and yep. we get told it through a tap dancing David Morse. Yeah. Oh, I've, yeah, I've as, never seen him play this cartoonish. As an ex-CIA agent who's now imprisoned there at this base because he was selling arms to North Korea. Correct. Sure. And he does this whole thing. Yeah, North Korea, they don't have any any cases because overnight, 24 hours, they ripped out all the teeth <laughs> uh-huh. of 23 million people. How do you, how does that function you have that fast? You have at least, that means if you're doing 23 million <laughs> fucking teeth pulls, you have to have at least, to do it in 24 hours, 
20 million of those 23 million people have to be dentists. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, don't know. I mean, you know, I think it's just Kim, such a stupid thing to say. I think say. Kim Jong Un was watching uh, the Rudolph uh, Christmas special, yeah. and then he watched the abominable snowman get his teeth ripped out, and he's like, say. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the abominable snowman. Oh. So- <laughs> What's his face had the right idea? Yukon Cornelius had the right idea. I also just love the idea. It's like, yeah, there's they're zombies, but they've no teeth, so that it just know. really hurts. <laughs> Well, totally. I mean, he's doing. It's like getting bit by a snapping turtle. <laughs> he's like doing Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. He's like, if I only had men who could do something like that. And yeah. then he's the one that tells Brad Pitt that Israel's fine because of the uh, globalist uh, conspiracy. <laughs> Dude, and because of the way David Morse is done up in this movie, when he says, of course, Israel's fine, I was like, where's this movie going? <laughs> yeah. What kind of a character do we have here? And did you notice? David Morris himself has no teeth in this. This yeah. character oh, has this, no teeth. Because oh, yeah. oh, yeah. there's a couple parts where he's yelling at Brad Pitt and his mouth opens and you can see the top gum and there's nothing there. That, that tells you how fucking bad Mark Forster is at this shit. Like, even something like that gives that character so much more of, like, to actually focus and have him bring it, like, I, I'm not going to let anything happen to me. Dude, or like, you, yeah, you have to give him the line yeah. where he specifies, like, and guess what's even crazier? I did it to yeah. myself. Oh, fucking, yeah. They give lines to fucking Tim Robbins in goddamn uh, 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 War of the Worlds. Yes. Like, th- that's the kind of... Oh, right. Yeah, I th- forgot th- he's crazy in that th- movie. Yeah. This, is a norm- this is a character you see in these movies all the time, but you have to give them the stage. Well, yep. I, here's the thing. I understand. I mean, it's insane, and it's also not possible why North Korea would rip out the teeth of everyone out of me. <laughs> sure. It's just it's the stupidest image I ever thought of. Where do, where do they put all those teeth out of curiosity? Ooh. Oh, they're making furniture out of it <laughs> and whatnot. That'd be awesome. A new palace. A new palace for Kim. A, yeah, a fucking throne of teeth. That's yeah. kind of cool. Here I sit on a throne of teeth above the uh, river of yeah, blood. Could, don't forget to uh, whiten my throne this weekend. <laughs> put, a, put a bunch of crest strips on you it. You could have it all. <laughs> My throne, throne of, of teeth. teeth. <laughs> Empire teeth at that point. I mean, it could get me that could I was, spread. Can I tell you? I was letting Steve oh, yeah. eat and I was watching his mouth and I was like, we could go Empire <laughs> teeth. And I saw your tongue go to make. <laughs> And I was like, no, we're doing throne. Okay. Throne of teeth. <laughs> That's the North Korea is known from now on. Well, the empire honestly, of teeth. <laughs> North Korea could just make a gun that's, you know, you could shoot teeth out of a yeah. Cronenberg gun. You yeah, know, and it could barely go fucking six feet in front of you. <laughs> Get John Malkovich on the case, you know. He I, knows I, how to build I met guns. I him, an incredible man, a genius, <laughs> ripped teeth out of 17 million people. <laughs> it's, is it ugly? It worked. <laughs> What does it matter? <laughs> they don't have the problem. But like, what also? So what I was getting at, but before, it's just a staggering logistical thing to get over about the teeth. But then, why would David Morse rip his teeth out? What does he care? Like, oh, so like, in case he turns into a zombie. But then that would just make him an, he'd be a zombie anyway, and then he'd be an ineffectual zombie at that. Like, it matters more that other people don't have teeth, mm-hmm. not right. me. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, You're that, right. That, that doesn't make the, sense. You're but right. this is the vaccine line. They can get vaccinated. I don't have to. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, so you think he's just trying to set a good example. All right, guys, I'll go first, and then everyone else does it. Well, I mean, he just came from North Korea, sure. presumably over the border. So maybe oh. they did it to him or. <laughs> He drank the Kool Aid and is all on board. I with mean, Kim that's Jong-un. the no, the whole he's no supposed to be crazy. But yeah, yeah any of that shit crazy. is a great idea. Yeah, the movie just has to care to use yes. any of that. You don't know what you I mean? Be and asking that from a Mark Forster movie. Don't you fucking dare. But that's what's so weird about the way that this movie plays is every single time you meet noticeable actors. Yes. They're either killed off or mm-hmm. we leave and go to a different place in the movie. It's, yeah. And the people that he winds up getting sidled with, for the most part, like this Israeli actress that we're about to yeah. meet, like she's a total nobody in the eyes of Hollywood. Sure. So, like, that's what is okay in this movie. But, like, no fucking way will his partner be David Morse going out and doing yeah. shit. Cause I was like, okay, cool. So now this is where yeah. he meets James Badge Dale, Michael Weisman, and they become part of the team. Oh, Oh, you're just no. leaving? No, no. Yeah, I mean that's that's a great point. Like you could have freed David Morris. It's like, yeah, he's kind of crazy. Now we got like a we got this fucking dirty dozen energy. Yes, with how mag it was, and eventually he's going to try to double cross you and you kill him, and it adds yep. a little a layer oh, oh. on top of. All this. right, that's a, but, that's a crazy guy. Like, you just look out when you go to sleep. Watch your teeth. Just like, <laughs> watch. He's going to try. You, you ever meet the tooth fairy? I wouldn't go to sleep if I were you. <laughs> Buddy. I mean, why have Dirty Dozen energy, Eric, when you could have King of Kings energy mm-hmm. and just have Jesus 
Brad Pitt the Jesus <laughs> walking true. through the zombie untouched. And where does Jesus belong? Israel. Of course, that's where we're going next. That's, that's, that's where we're place. going next. It's like, all right, I'm going to go. And then all these people, because, you know, I guess that they're like, oh, wow, we'll, we'll refuel your plane. No problem. I'll, I'm James Badgedale. This is a mission I can get behind. <laughs> refuel your plane to go to Israel. So they go, they're all on bikes. The bicycle thing is very funny because they're like, listen, we got to do this as quietly as possible, which is why I'm procure- I've procured the, the rustiest, <laughs> the jangliest, <laughs> squeakiest bicycles possible. It would be funny if it's like the end of Fifth Element. It's just like he only has so many squirts of WD-40 left. And he's <laughs> very careful with it. I just don't understand why that is preferable to just walking quietly. Because- exactly. You can only pedal so fast on a bicycle. Like, they're going to get you anyway. I think if you're trying to outrun them, sure. Also, like, we literally just got here. I understand. Can we just, you mind if we just hang out for the night, wait till morning? Maybe the rain will stop. Let this guy take a fucking shit, man. (laughs) Maybe then part of the movie wouldn't look like a black smear on the camera. Yes. Uh Seeing them take off in the morning, I would have welcomed it. Because, yeah, yeah, they're doing it at night. It's, I guess, supposed to be scary. Urgency, I guess, as well. Like, I need to to cure the world by tomorrow. I'm Brad Pitt. I'm (laughs) I'm saving the world, don't you know? Isn't that interesting that I'm I'm perfect? I'm also not qualified for anything aside from fucking bowling some dude's balls in a fucking <laughs> kitchen chair but no don't worry i'll figure i'll fix this one out oh man and like this is ah so dumb he's riding along and they just cut to muriel enos laying in bed with the kids back on the battleship and you see her be like huh well, i think i'll call gary <laughs> <laughs> and like you see her sort of like look at the phone she doesn't pick it up or nothing i don't think but then like cuts back to fucking jerry and of course, this fucking satellite phone starts ringing, ringing, and all the fucking zombies come attack again. Well, she's calling because they had a rough day at at, at Battle Boat headquarters because she they're on line for food and the little and you got if you're barely in us, you gotta be like, we're gonna go out tonight, sweetheart. We're gonna go get our food. You need to button it up because she's like, mommy, this food's terrible, and yeah. this guy's like, you know what? It tastes so bad because there's too many fucking people on this boat. Yep. Yeah. I will shove a little girl off because I've lost my entire family and I don't need to hear this right now. Little girl stew. <laughs> totally. That's right? the, you know, this is the best polenta you've ever had. Okay. <laughs> you just eat it up and shut up. I don't like this one. You like, no, rot, not little mm-hmm. fucking no, shit. You know what? You should, you, you took all the man's duct tape, take an extra one, just put it over the mouth <laughs> before you leave the room every time. Because I mean, like that's and that's I do think that there there's a version. I mean, not the Matthew Fox version, maybe not, but like a version where we follow Mary Elinos's journey a little bit. Where sure, at least, and like, she doesn't have to suck dick for toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be fantastic. great. Like if she could do something other than suck dick for toilet paper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the thing that's ass yeah. is like, <laughs> oh no, they sent her to they sent her to North Korea. Now they're gonna get her teeth. No, <laughs> I'm here for my wife's teeth. <laughs> I'll take it out of your throne, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Where are your teeth files? Tell me. Uh, I mean, the thing that's so unfortunate, and it's why just, did they take all their teeth? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what is so unfortunate uh, is that you have Marielle Enos yeah. in this movie, and she's fucking great. Sure, yeah. if you've ever seen her on the show, The Killing the yes. AMC show, really she good. is fucking awesome. Wouldn't it be easier just to break everyone's legs or like? <laughs> Force yeah. everyone to stay at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's just two bones to break. Not, just, I don't know how, it, how many teeth people have. Oh, yeah. But 30 zombies in wheelchairs? Like that? That'd yeah. be fantastic. Oh, so we, yeah, wheelies. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, she's she's good, and she's got nothing to do in this movie. Like the, She's got, like, four scenes, and most is like, is Jerry okay? I mm-hmm. hope. Well, I'm going to call mm-hmm. Jerry. It's like, how many ways can I dial a phone and make it interesting? <laughs> I mean, really, it's so awful. And like Jerry's like, well, I don't want to. I might be napping uh, in the middle of. Uh, I don't want to miss this call, so I'm gonna put my ringer up to extra loud, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing, Jer. I mean, you're riding bikes to be all quiet and shit. Turn that off. If you're gonna turn it off during a movie. Turn it off during the zombie invasion. Don't yeah. worry about that stuff. Some of the actors we just met can now just be eliminated from the film. Right? It's great. The, the, the most interesting James Badge yes. Dale, yes. who uh, gets bit by a zombie and commits suicide immediately, and it's fucking hilarious because there's like a sniper that on the shit. roof, and this Fuck dude's it. just like. Give me the word, Sarge. I got you in my sights. And he's just like, that's okay, boys. 
this one's on me, gun to head. <laughs> it's great. I mean, like, it's stupid, but also, like, the the way that this movie tries to differentiate, like, oh, these zombies, they function on sound. Like, oh, like all fucking zombies? Like, they mm-hmm. try yeah. and really, make, you can't make a noise. They'll, they're so sensitive to noise. Yes. Okay. Uh, great. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like a lot of predators in movies. All right. Real well, original. because you would think they're, like, the part of the whole prestige thing is that they're going to give you, like, more, de- like, whether you want it or not, yeah. they're going to give you more detail about how, like, the zombies work and, like, what, actually, and I'm like, None of that. You don't even get that. Like, even Romero had more interesting things about, oh, like, how God. zombies operate. Sure, of course. This is just fucking who gives a shit. Just get Brad Pitt on the camera again. My favorite um, line before someone sacrifices themselves comes right after the James Badgedale suicide, where, like, they're refueled, they're ready to go. And then the pilot's like, oh, man, the fucking hose is still stuck on the plane. And this fucking guy who's like, we meet him briefly when they're first flying out. He's yeah. like lead SEAL guy. Yeah, that's right. And he just turns around and he goes, all right, this Israel idea better pay off. <laughs> and he runs out to unplug the thing and gets killed to me. Yeah, that's pretty great. Uh, now I'm killing myself <laughs> out here. <laughs> I would, I'd love it if they finally get to Israel and just like, no one has teeth. <laughs> Welcome to Israel. I was like, oh fuck! I flew all the way for the the teeth thing again. Yeah, we got the facts from North Korea. It's going pretty good. Oh, so that's why Gal Gadot talks like that. <laughs> Brad Pitt, got me the stone. <laughs> no, you do. Did you to everybody in the IDF? <laughs> No, I won't go on a date with you, Shazam. <laughs> but instead, the de- <laughs> I'm gonna play Cleopatra. And <laughs> your champagne to fill my dial. Yeah, they are they are pre- prematurely popping that champagne to fill the Nile yes. because. <laughs> They it's just, just a, a stupid fucking wall. It's a huge yes, wall. It's a huge Dude, wall. Yes. And like the funny thing is they're like, oh, you know, how did you know to build the wall so early? And I feel like they were just like, oh, we were just doing it for the Palestinians. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. It just worked out. We had this whole thing where we were lock all the Palestinians out, but oh, it just. So we we, we took our idea of uh, Palestinian apartheid and mm, just switched uh-huh. out Palestinians and put zombies in. Oh, yeah. even better. I, we're not I even switched the- out. We put. Plus, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised you haven't heard. We love walls. We fucking love that shit. We've been doing that forever. Now we got one that wails out back if you want to see it. <laughs> and they're just like, everything's great here. Don't worry. We just, you know, we the government stepped in and did uh, the right thing, as the, always. The whole line of like, like they, oh, well, they have a secret government program where yeah. I'm the guy that says everyone else is full of shit the 10th that, man protocol and it's oh, like God. so they just listen to the 10th man immediately the t- i guess well, it's like, oh yeah because th- 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 you're, you're right because that line i think doesn't make any sense like, no when nine people look at something and the 10th one says that's bullshit then we go and do what the 10th person says so like uh so should the 10th man has to work from the insu- uh, the assumption that the nine other people who all right. agree yeah, on one so- another are wrong well, so I guess their entire system of government is based on the wrong thing to do. Yeah, it's, the ba- it's, a, it's a Costanza. Like, right. just do the opposite. <laughs> that, you're right. That's why they said apartheid. Let's yes. try that. And, you know, the idea of a wall is just dumb to begin yeah. with. Like, make it a dome. Put yourself yes. under a dome or something. It's yeah, that even, Stephen King show had the right idea. Yes, yes, and the Iron Dome as well. But Ooh, he, So Brad Pitt's like, wow, that's really interesting. This is a fun uh, diversion. We do meet uh, Sagan, who is this... The Israeli soldiers number two for most of the rest of the movie. He has to seek out this dude Jurgen. By the way, this yeah. is the guy that's like telling oh, yeah. him yes. about the tenth man protocol and yada yada. Yes, yada. He- but I mean it. It doesn't fucking matter. And he's just kind of like, yeah, I don't know how else we can really help you, Brad Pitt, because like should have built the wall three weeks ago, brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like this is this is the deal, man. And he's like, oh, all right. Uh, and then like. Oh, the best part is they're letting people in. Yeah. And they're like, he's like, you're letting people in? That's very un-Israel of you. And he's like, well, uh, the, the, he's like, well, that's one less zombie we have to kill. Think about it that way. Exactly. Uh, and so, like, because it is, like, such a fucking, you know, uh, oasis-type place at this point, people are, like, singing and playing music, and someone, uh-oh, 
takes a microphone and puts it to the little boombox speaker, yes. and the music starts attracting these zombies. And, you know, zombies proven what a lot of us know already walls don't work because you can go over them mm-hmm. well they all like act like a bunch of bugs or like fire ants right. at this like point. little ladders people ladders yes. horde mentality and it was because i had seen that that part of this movie already it was when whatever later in the series walking dead season opened with something almost exactly like the horde. That i think it's called the horde and i was just like nope it was that moment that I stopped watching the show because I was like, you just ripped something from a zombie movie that I couldn't even be bothered to fucking finish. (laughs) I'm not going to be bothered to finish this fucking show. And that was the end of it. Because, yes, another fucking fire ants is a great way to put it. Fire ant wall of zombies happens there. But, of course, so they climb over it in this movie and start fucking murking people left and right, of course. And then it's like this dude, Jurgen is like, oh, all right. All of these uh, soldiers here, your number one job is to get our best friend, Jerry, out <laughs> exactly. of the country. Uh, uh, don't important. worry about your wives or your children nope. or protecting your actual homeland. This white guy was nice enough to come yeah. here and ask me four questions. And that's it. And We're going to get him a helicopter. We're, we need to get Jerry out. <laughs> and he's from the UN, okay? And that means absolutely nothing anymore. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. It's like it's the end of the world. What is stopping one of these p- people who's like, protect this man at all costs, just taking the gun, shooting Jerry, and yes. be like, what now? <laughs> yep. Exactly. What are you doing put, now? Put me in jail, I guess. Like, it doesn't make any... And like, yeah, absolutely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die for... We're all going to die for jerry tonight and so many of these soldiers do lose their lives for jerry he's got to get back to the un with his lack of knowledge (laughs) and by the way he has a a wife and two baby daughters oh Oh my um, god a sweet sweet baby daughters and an adopted son and an adopted son and uh, i as a soldier in the israeli army have no family whatsoever Uh, they have asthma (laughs) oh my god all of them oh i'm willing to take a bullet for jerry for his (laughs) asthmatic daughter while uh, Brad Pitt is running around uh, here, there's two instances where he starts Sherlocking because uh-huh. he sees at separate points uh, an old man and then a little boy. And oh, yeah. In both instances, the zombies totally bypass these people. Yes. And he's just kind of like, oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. The just little staring. boy is, got, is bald, right? Because there's, I guess, cancer. cancer. Yeah. 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 And the old he just, he just old starts man. shaving his head in the middle of his booty. He's like, <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. Hair. I got it. <laughs> no, this dude, though, this Brad Pitt character, he'd be like, wait. The cure to you know get these zombies off my back is to shave this beautiful head of hair. I'd rather die. Take me now, zombie. You'll never get this haircut. There's got to be another way. No zombie eat me. Me sick. Ooh, he can't read good. <laughs> By the way, we do know he is in uh, uh, action mode now because he does have the scarf finally. Oh yeah, he puts it on r- scarf. R- r- during uh, the South Korea expedition. It's a tactical Absolutely. scarf, Chris. of course. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. it yeah. scares them off. So uh, we head to the airport, and I guess his plane was already. Stolen or not. no, it leaves without him. Yeah, like, Look, <laughs> they, they take off, and he's like, hey. sad. That's funny. <laughs> and then they see this Belarus Airlines is like trying to take well, off. But first, uh, Sagan gets bit, uh, on oh, the hand. Yes, yes. Uh, Sagan, who's like this, this, uh, a female Israeli sergeant that's like following him, and she gets bit, and like he cuts her hand off immediately, and she's like, the fuck. <laughs> and he starts counting, yes. you know, and then he's like, oh, okay, it's past the 12 seconds or whatever. Like, you're not going to turn. Later in the movie, I mean, a few minutes from now, it doesn't matter. She's just like, how did you know that would work? And he's like, I didn't. And she kind of takes this as like an insult or whatever. But it's like, hey, lady. You got to try it. If yeah. you didn't do it, you're me. dead any, you know, you were dead look, anyway. So if it didn't work, you'd be in the same exact position. Look, I don't want you to get, you know, unnerved or anything. But one day I'll tell you about how many years I spent chopping off hands. <laughs> I, I was I was quite quite You're good right. at it. You're right, Chris. That is it's way, not my first hand rodeo. Dude, it is way too fast. quick of a reaction. Uh, and right <laughs> like butter, he knows the exact speed you need. Uh-huh. Yep, totally. He's not getting stuck in that pesky wrist bone. <laughs> nope. I, I used to uh, fuck uh, uh, autopsy. Yeah. I used to do autopsies. That's what I did. They uh, called me the butcher. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> and it's uh, because this is like so shittily and cowardly cut to a pg-13 rating yes Ugh. it's basically like you see him it's like 
Here's what it's like. It's like when the two nerds in Can Hardly Wait yeah. are doing lightsaber Luke and Darth Vader yeah. battle. And then it's like, you cut my hand off. And it's just kind of like, Unk, and then yes. the kid drops the flashlight. That may as well be this. Yes. Because it's just kind of like clunk. And she goes, owie, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. and like, that's it. There's yeah. nothing. There's no blood. It's such, Heinous. And he, it's such a bad idea. But he ties it off, and now they're both going on Belarus Airlines. Uh, it's kind of, I kind of want him when he calls his wife. She's like, sir, yeah, I just met this really great girl. I cut her hand. So you had to cut her hand off, huh? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I know what that's like. Oh, oh I remember when uh, you said that I was the only girl whose hand you'd want to cut off. <laughs> where, I get it. Where did you two meet? Oh, in the middle of a zombie attack. That's interesting. Yeah, really. uh-huh. That's uh-huh. interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. You work together now? Okay. No, uh-huh. no, no one uh-huh. else? No, no men? You could cut down her hands off? No, just touch her hand. Uh, okay. Oh, but uh, all right. So you were the one who had to cut her hand off. There's no one else around that could uh, do it? Do a video? Oh, yeah. She's pretty. She's very pretty. She's very pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah, very pretty. Oh, oh, nice. her, oh, her boyfriend was eaten. That's that's very that's uh, uh, convenient. To say sounds, that. Like, uh, sounds like you're having a great time over there. <laughs> I really hope her pussy wasn't eaten. <laughs> Hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know. So sorry, we, you know what? North Korea is a blowjob paradise. <laughs> <laughs> a whole nation of gumming. Oh, totally, dude. That's a fucking complete sucktuary up there, dude. <laughs> They're just sixty nine every night, man. It's everyone's having a great time. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh great. Now they're releasing all the footage from North Korea. Shit. <laughs> it's like, dude, you go down to Florida, the fucking villages down there, dude. All them old fogies are gumming oh, each other and whatnot. They totally. absolutely are. And it's ruled like North Korea. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get it started. Put on Megan D. Stallion's wet ass <laughs> pussy. And let's get going, girls. Yes. I have decided to ban all trans literature and to rip the teeth out of everyone in Florida. <laughs> Fuck you, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you know, this is the debut of the Ron DeSantis. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> no problem. And uh, it's, it, that guy sounds ridiculous. It really is funny. You never, I never heard what he no. sounded like until recently. By, by the way, does he have some pudding? <laughs> I, 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 it, it sustains me, much like Dracula with blood. I need pudding. To keep going. Yeah, it's only when I eat it with my fingers, though. <laughs> it's, it's, I like it getting all in my mouth. I like being a sticky baby. <laughs> oh, big white boots. I'm a big sticky baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're in Belarus Airlines. Brad Pitt is like, uh, on the airplane. They, they get on. Brad Pitt's like, I don't know if you know this, but I'm incredibly special. Like, oh, right this way, sir. Oh, Dude, yeah, because he's a special he, passenger. He calls, he calls Terry and he's like, hey, man, we're trying to get out of here. Uh, you know, we need to get to a fucking World Health Organization facility or whatever. As close as one possible. Right? And uh, he's like, all right, hang on a second. And he's pounding on the cockpit door and the fucking pilot turns around. He's like, what? What do you want? And he's like, I think you might want to talk to someone on the phone right now. And then it's like, you don't hear this conversation. And the dude gives the phone back like, all right, we're going to Wales. No, Thank it, you. It's just, oh, uh, okay. Oh, are you from the UN? Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Let me just, hold on. Give me one second. We'll go fart into the phone really quickly. Yeah, it's not the um, UN anymore. It's the UN. <laughs> Authority doesn't exist, you fucking maniac. No, I want to. I, I, I'm the captain, which makes me the fucking czar of this plane. Oh, yeah. And you yeah. can't tell me shit. Uh, but they're flying. He has to. He does some more medical stuff to Sagan to make sure that her. He cleans her bandage, and it's a very mm-hmm. harrowing scene. With again, totally bloodless. No. Yep. Right. But even though the plane landed in Israel, which was its destination, and then took off again immediately, someone on the plane has. And uh, wait, somehow I was just stuck in the bathroom. Stow away. Like, yeah, yes, I, it dude. doesn't make a lot of sense. It does so. not. It's yeah. a stow Especially because it takes 12 seconds. It's not another zombie movie where it's like, oh, I'm a little sick, but I'm going to go. No. But right. no, you have this stupid 12-second rule. So right. Like, and then we ignore it for this scene to, yeah. to make another little action set piece. They have to... It's so funny too. Of course, Jerry's immediately well, like, well, coach is gone. Only first class <laughs> will survive. Yeah, let's put make all. Make sure these they bags. don't get out. Make sure they stay there and die. And mo- much like Jerry Seinfeld's, like, you know, this curtain really doesn't work. You, there really should be a locking door. You know what is going on back there? You know, you're trying to relax on the flight. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. There's a zombie outbreak in the back of the another plane. glass of champagne. <laughs> More everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you really mean that? Because here it comes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they, they are, their plan isn't great. We're going to no. use our shitty suitcases to make it's a the, barrier. It's the best you got. Yeah, I guess. There are no ideas. Well, <laughs> I like this idea where Brad Pitt takes the grenade and chucks it to make a hole in the plane so that it Good sucks thinking. all the zombies out. All of a sudden, it's just like, oh, fuck. Fuck, what is the name of that Michelle Yeoh movie I just watched? Oh, the uh, fucking, oh, uh, God, what's it called? Oh, which one is that? Where they're on the plane. It's her, and she befriends. Uh, is it Police Story 3? Royal Warriors? Maybe? I think Royal it Warriors? might be Royal Warriors. Mm-hmm. The one where, like, she's a cop, and she meets two other dude cops on a plane, and they they overtake, like, a terrorist attack or something that happens on the plane, including a dude shoots a window, and she, Ugh. like, pushes the guy's like head through it yeah, and oh, his head sick. freezes on the other side yes. of it i love that scene it fucking rules it is royal warriors royal oh, warriors okay. is the one of the, yeah, yeah yeah anyway or it the, just reminded me of that uh, yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> uh but so like yeah he he grenades all these zombies out of a plane and probably some innocent people too well that's what i was yeah. wondering dude because like this whole huge hole sorry opens. guys i'm very special <laughs> and it's like i guess in this instance maybe it's okay that the 12 second rule because like at least you're turning into a zombie before you hit the ground. Yeah. So there's that going for you. <laughs> and, and boy, it's lucky that it didn't just split the plane in half and yes. just really got to the corner there. Yep. Just yep. a little hole right there. Yeah. I, this I, thing. I want the co-pilot. What the fuck are you doing <laughs> back here? You know what, man? No one wanted you on this flight. <laughs> you pushed this fucking phone in my face. Now we're going where some guy's telling me to go because of you, and you throw a grenade at somebody? <laughs> By the way, I'm about to die. <laughs> For Jer- In Jerry's name! <laughs> Jerry's so special! Uh, we crash in Wales. Yes. Uh, we're, uh, a, a walkable distance totally from, the walk- worth of- one of the <laughs> from the World Health one of the Health odds. Organization. Oh, meanwhile, uh, it's important. Brad Pitt has a fucking, like, a shard through his body yeah. due to the plane crash. Yes. yes. And Sagan Ooh. is like, you know, now we're best friends. Oh, so she carried you all the way to, to WHO. So pretty cozy, it sounds like. It's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you uh, you were impaled with a piece of fuselage and uh-huh. she helped you walk. She, oh, nice. Oh, she uh, fingered your orifice there and <laughs> nursed I mean, you back to health? I know. It sounds great. It sounds like you have a real intimate relationship. <laughs> uh, and it sounds like you guys are getting along. And like, I love that that's how you work. And that, <laughs> that's how you do these oh, things. Me, oh. Meanwhile, me and your daughters, me and your daughters have been uh, removed from the plane because you you were too busy with your girlfriend there. That's what. Yeah, happened. and uh, we're uh, sucking dick for toilet paper. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, you know that uh, that that Tommy boy that's uh, hanging out with us all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I had to beg uh, them not to throw him off the boat. <laughs> I, I had to beg them. Uh, oh, the funny thing too, when they so Brad Pitt like wakes up all dazed and whatnot after the plane crashes, and you he like hears a zombie noise. He's like, "Fuck, God, all right, where's this one?" And he looks, and it's a lady zombie who's still buckled into the seat, and she can't get yeah, out. Of rah, 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 rah. And she just sits there the whole time. That's kind of great. Again, one of those things where you're like, "Is this the beginning of like a, a sequence or a set piece?" Yes, and it's just like, "How about not? No, how about we just keep on going? Yep. How about we don't care about that at all?" Yep. But it's okay because we're we're getting towards the end. We're getting God. to Peter Capaldi, which is what everybody wants. It's just ridiculous that you have so many scenes that add up to nothing, and you stitch them all together, and this is a two-hour garbage movie. It's, just, it's nothing because once we get we do get to the WHO, Brad Pitt passes out, and then he wakes up. Three, and there, three days later, there is a great yeah. There's a great <laughs> scene with Terry. Uh, it goes up to Karen uh, Marilyn. He's like, "So listen, um, <laughs> and dude." Once again, to my complaint that she's fucking awesome. Sure. You don't give her any kind of reaction. Yeah. Exactly. She's just, all? she's just on a boat in three seconds. Cause it, you know, it's a, so bad news. Um, your husband's pretty much dead and sorry about that, but maybe worse news. You're going to a refugee camp. That is the funniest thing is like, well, the dude who was your fucking meal ticket to yeah. this boat is dead. So get the hell out of here. Yeah. Look, yeah. Eric Prince is waiting for a place to sleep. He doesn't know where he's going to get his next meal. So if you guys aren't being used anymore, he'll help us. Yeah, you were a plus one, and yeah. the invitee is no longer here. <laughs> we're moving yeah. all the plus ones to Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but Canada's yeah. plus one capital of the yeah. nation. Nova e- Scotia. Even in this like incredibly uh, Brad Pitt centric movie, she could do something like, "Well, 
Jerry isn't dead because Jerry's the best. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, Jerry's going to call you and he's yep. going to solve this whole dirt thing. She oh, says man. nothing. She says <laughs> seriously nothing. nothing. She puts up no fight. They get on this helicopter and they're out of the movie. Out of yeah. They're yeah. out of the movie. They're gone. At this point. You've never <sighs> seen credits. the refugee camp at all. Well, um, at the very end, right? For yeah, the split second. Yes, yes very, 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 nice. very end. Uh, so he wakes up and Peter Capaldi is giving him the business. Peter Capaldi is a doctor inside the WHO. Make your own joke there. Uh, they were. They were because the production had advance notice that he'd been cast as the doctor. So isn't that fucking funny for Ooh, nobody? It's very funny. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh, that is really funny. Oh, my God. That's fucking funny. <laughs> I am the doctor. Hello. Hi. No, we, it's weird because, like, this is, uh, he was not the biggest deal yet. So he's playing the number two. Yes. Which some other is guy. so weird. Like, yes. It's Peter fucking Capaldi. He's going to steal the show. Who's the other guy with the, the beard? Like, no, I, I don't oh, know. Oh, he's, he's an Italian actor who's yeah. in a bunch of things. Okay. Yeah. I wrote down something later on my he's, notes. He's Maybe like I'll the boss. It. And, like, that's the thing. Brad Pitt's such a genius. He's like, why do you keep looking at him? And he's like, Cause he's your boss and I'm a genius. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. What does he say? It's like it's even cooler than that, yeah. Steve. He's like, cause he's the one in charge. Yeah. It's like, 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 uh, I don't so. know if you know this, but I'm. Just, oh my god, we have Jerry. I had no idea Jerry was going to be here. <laughs> oh. oh, it's an honor, Jerry. <laughs> oh, prepare Ruth Negan now. She's going to lose her shit when she finds out Jerry's in the house. <laughs> she comes in. Ruth Negan's got a fucking Brad Pitt T-shirt on. Says Jerry. <laughs> Oh my God, it's Jerry. So it's the Jerry. Jerry comes up with the idea that we need diseases in order to, you know, to be immune from the zombies. Right, to be because predators don't want to eat diseased meat. But the problem is all of our great diseases are in the B-wing, and the B-wing is chock full of zombies. Could you believe it? <laughs> <And> he, <laughs> yeah, a couple, a couple of Zeeks down that hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah Zeeks. dude. And, like... It was at this point in the movie where I just, I had had enough. Yeah. And yep. I think the, what's kind of funny is the movie itself has enough because Brad Pitt has some kind of line that's basically like, and what happened to Z-Wing? <laughs> or like, whatever it is, yes. you know? And it's like, we've just, it's the same thing as like, we're at the fucking Korean base. Yes. Oh, but the gas pump is way over here. And we're getting on little bikes again. Yep. In the lab, in the lab, they they watched some footage about how, what happened to Bewing, and in the lab of the World Health Organization, there is a guy with I'm not kidding you, just like the basic COVID mask and nothing else. Yes. Handling the super zombie nope, serum. No problem. No, no, just no. Not none of those glove things that are in the box and that you go in and do the thing. No, 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 no. Why don't you just lick it and see how it tastes? But also, it's amazing when the sequence is like, yeah, you know, and like everyone's like, you're mad, Jerry. It's like, no, actually, I saw it like two to three times. Like, well, it's worth a try, so we're gonna do it, and I guess we'll have to figure out who is gonna have to like take that disease and meet her. And they have this like this other zombie in another room in the A wing or whatever, right? Yes. And like she's wearing a lab coat, yeah, so it's it like comes, maybe a collar. It it's, it's this movie loves to load Chekhov's gun and then put it in a in a box somewhere and lock the box. <laughs> There's several guns. <laughs> don't, don't want this going off in the movie. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh yeah, well, oh, yeah well, just, Chekhov's gun. We'll put that you right think, here. I don't want that. Don't want that going off in the third act. My God, when, you don't want that happening. So it's this stupid sequence where it's like oh it's tense we got to walk around all these zombies and everyone's fine everyone's brad pitt gets trapped into the, the disease room where he wanted to be anyway the other two or three members of the party what the the israeli girl and the uh yeah the, the guy Italian in charge fella, yes. who I, I looked him up his name is uh pierre francesco favino who's been in a ton of like italian tv and movies but played Christopher Columbus in that first night of the museum movie. Ooh, there, you go. there you go. So they all, those two characters run back fine yep. and close the door. That's when I was like, okay, clearly this is when that zombie's yes, getting out of the and something's going to happen. It gets all of them in the command right. center. That would be pretty be nice. Some, that's like a zombie movie that might happen because something need, no, he, they go, th I mean, it just takes a while. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> They go really tippy. T it's Brad Pitt, Sagan, and the other guy. They're like, we're going to go. And everyone's like, it's so dangerous, but you'll have to go. Okay. And this is where it gets the most video gamey too, yes. because it's yeah. like walk and get to the the freezer with all the viruses without any of the zombies spotting you. Yeah. I was amazed. This actually did come out, I think, the year the same year as last of the first the last of us game. game. Yeah. Oh, really? And I was like, cause there is a 
It's in the show too. There is one sequence that is literally just this. You gotta walk quietly. Walking quietly so nobody sees you uh, in the lab. Like yeah. oh, in a like, lab yeah, too. Lab. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah, but it, this is funny. this sequence is so boring for yes, me. Yes, it is. And I'm yep. so I'm so tired of it by now. And just being quiet around them, like shut the it's, fuck up. It doesn't get interesting until it's just him and the other one zombie outside yes. the door. With, yes. And even then, I'm just like, end this movie. Yes. I'm, yes. Oh, I'm yeah. so over this. Well, so, first of all, the Deus Ex Mountain Dew almost gets there. <laughs> they are kid. almost done in by a can of Mountain Dew because <laughs> oh. he just like walks into this pl- and kicks this can across the oh. room. It's clanging and clinking. Almost killed by Mountain Dew, saved by Pepsi. <laughs> Look at that. Look, yeah. just, mm-hmm. just, that's how it works. Two flavors Same of America. Same family of sodas. Yeah, too. That's true. Ooh, that's that's good. The it should have been. Folk were like, hey, what the fuck? Hey, Pepsi, what the fuck? <laughs> You're right. I mean, it should have been like he kicks a fucking can of Diet Coke and a, a zombie does come out and kill somebody. And it's like, man, that Coke is dangerous. Not and drinking that. Pepsi saves the day at the end of the movie. <laughs> it is just crazy, though, in a zombie movie. Like, cause it, I mean, that's the thing is it it. Once we get to the hospital, it starts to act like a real zombie, a regular, regular zombie movie where we're like, yes, in closed quarters. There's all the zombies over there. We're safe over here. But of course we're not because that's how zombie movies have to work. Mm hmm. But they all survive. It's Every fucking single insane. one of them. And I've they don't never even seen anything them. like it. And they kill like two and a half zombies in mm-hmm. this sequence. Yep. Because they're like, oh, here, you get the bat. You get the you get the axe. All right. And I'm like, maybe something. Dude, can I wake up from the couch? <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Uh, that axe does nothing but prop a door open. <laughs> it is Are you kidding? So fucking dull. So let's just get to the injection part. So is he, is it basically, he, they get separated. Like you said, Eric, uh, Sagan and the other guy just get back safely. And they're like, oh, my God, we left Brad Pitt. And he's stuck in this, this room that has all the diseases in it. He grabs it. He writes a sign that says, tell my children I love them because there's a, a zombie waiting outside the door for him. Well, yeah. also the guy, the uh, Italian guy says uh, uh, there's like a whole, uh, he takes a bunch of shit yes. into this box of diseases. Yes. And he's like, well, I hope he doesn't like use half of those because those would just straight up fucking kill you. He says something about like, if he took anything from the shelf on the left, there's nothing we can do for him. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, well, with the fucking trajectory what, what of this is, movie, I'm sure it's something from all, the right. They're all supposed to be lethal. What is a le- I guess there's lethal diseases you can instantly cure because once he gets out of there, they just give him like the antidote injection. Of whatever. And I'm yeah. like, what? Scarlet what did he, fever goes I away. I need to know quick. what he got. They never, they never tell you, and that's yeah. you know, it's insane. Again, would be an interesting. Even that is a detail, something yes. I can latch on to. You oh no, can... it's chronic diarrhea. <laughs> uh, well, Dude, Jerry's yeah. just been shitting in there for hours. Uh, no the zo- one, the zombie lost interest. Well, that's the thing. Maybe like, oh yeah, oh, the human smell fecal matter. Off, yeah. yeah, yeah, they don't like that. And then just like, finally, my dream just shit oh, wherever. Yes, and now we get to see sh- shots of people all over the country, like covered in shit <laughs> pour, pour, putting their shit on themselves and walking around in public and then North Korea's like you guys look ridiculous <laughs> you should have pulled out your buttholes <laughs> anyway womp, womp, womp. I, and I mean it tells you that the Italian guy definitely thought this was not going to work because you would think before you fucking send him out there be like look there's this one shelf Yes. And it is just gonna yes. fuck your shit up. Yes. Do yep. not go near it. Yep. And but no, like I just go in, do it. Even more like moments in that room where it's just like, okay, move the camera up yes. and down. Yeah, to say yes means, or no. Exactly. That would be I, kind thought, of, I thought that's yes, what was right? gonna happen. But no, yeah. instead he just walks out of there, opens the door, it's fine. And then he goes and gets a delicious fucking Pepsi. <laughs> fucking which after a hard day's work of saving the planet, you, well earned. You prove that you have the solution to the thing that has been ki- killed over half the world, it sure. seems like. And you're going back to the people who are going to facilitate this getting to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. And before you do that, you have to stop. And drink a pep, a can of Pepsi. Hey, it's it's an alpha move, dude. Sorry. Oh, man. is it? And yeah. then he kicks the what the the open dispenser. It has, that's the thing. It's yeah. a it has a practical use yes. because he has to move the zombies 
away from the door. Yes. So he's way down in another hallway. And yes, knocking all the cans on the floor distracts them. But the fact that before that happens, he's got to crack one and chug. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Fuck Just, that, dude. That is embarrassing. Like, Brad Pitt, you should be embarrassed that you agreed and, to do and that. And I mean, it's just such a jack-off moment. It's like a, <laughs> it's a, a perfect shot of him walking while all the zombies and like, I oh my god, did it. He's so handsome and he's so heroic and he's drinking Pepsi like a hero would. <laughs> uh and yeah, all the famous here, Indiana mm-hmm. Jones, yeah. Luke Skywalker, chugging Pepsi. Now I want to see Kylie Jenner try to give a Pepsi to zombies. <laughs> <laughs> It would go that commercial? Oh yeah, with the, yes, the Pepsi the the soldier. I'd like yeah. to give the world a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a Coke song. Anyway, right. it was still funny. It was it so, <laughs> so yeah, he fucking gets out and they're like, Oh my god, he's done it. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew once Jerry was here, we were safe. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Ruth what, Mega pulls her shirt, opens the t-shirt. I That's told what you. uh Kate, what the Edward who abdicated the throne was saying too. <laughs> <laughs> he, wanted, he was sympathetic to the Nazis. So they <laughs> Jerry. The, Jer- the Brits called them Jerry. Uh, that's right. Yeah. And then the uh get ready for some convenient uh montage and oh, yeah. it's like, oh yes, so don't worry, that all worked out. Uh but it didn't. It's like, but it's, it's very pointed to be like, it didn't solve the problem, but just camouflaged it. It's like, we say camouflage like four times yeah, in this third act. Yeah. Couldn't even believe it. But it's just so crazy that like there's and they keep showing the stuff, which I assume is from this other cut, like these war scenes. I'm like, hey, that looked pretty sharp. That looks pretty interesting. And here's the thing: they do such a bad, bad job at making that crystal clear film scene footage yes. look like news footage that when you're watching because of course we got to splice in news footage of like unrest so yes. it looks like war torn whatever but then we're literally just cutting to scenes from movies yes and you can tell so hard and like this is all being intercut with him just getting back to mary elena gets to nova scotia no problemo there yep no one's even got a fucking bandage at least like one of his kids should just have one eye and it's like oh that's <laughs> oh yeah what was the story there <laughs> oh you know what i mean looks, yeah. i mean it looks like an rei commercial it like, does it just like, has like a winter wet wear it's and really like, good like clean and brand new yeah no yeah. thank you I'm gonna drink this pepsi and, and shop at patagonia <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's the end of the movie it is because he's just like terrible and we just did it and that's but the war is just beginning. Don't uh, worry. You're not going to believe this. You know? World War ZZ. Do you know who was supposed to direct World War Z2? Fincher. Yeah. Fincher. Fincher was on what? board for like three months. You don't start <laughs> lower and go up. <laughs> yeah. You well, start that, up and go lower. You no, know, I should tell you where Fincher was at the time. He was like looking for work because nobody is like, A, we're not paying you as much as you want. Yeah. A. And B, like, we're not going to give you the kind of control you want. Like, mm. it's just not going to happen. What was this betwixt with him? Like, Social Network, obviously, was already Social Network out. was good. Remember, Girl Dragon Dead 2, uh, I mean, I love that movie, but it did not do oh, it totally the numbers tanked. it was supposed to do. It was like, what, 2011 yeah. or something? I still, yeah. still haven't even seen and it. And then there was... Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what the one is between that and... Oh, Gone Girl. Oh, yeah, right. Gone Girl. And Gone Girl, again, was good just movie. like... Okay, I, I love that movie, but like like Girl Dragon Tattoo, it was supposed to be a breakout, insane hit, and it was yeah. just a hit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the movie. A real, you're not going to believe this. The war is still going. Uh, this is me uh, on my zombie outpost signing off for now or whatever the fuck. Right. I think the last, yeah, the war has just begun or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. We've only just begun to do stupid World War Z movies. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's the fucking end of it, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, just about two hours. That was a real pain. Final thoughts and recommendations, Eric Siska. Uh, yeah, my my final thought is no. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't like it in 2013. My God, yes. 2013. And I didn't like it now. It's just tedious. I mean, I see what they're trying to do with having like a globetrotting adventure during all this, but right. I do not think it's pulled off. So it's a not recommend for me across the board. Chris Cabin. Oh yeah, a, a terrible movie. And like it, to to what Eric was talking about, it would be great if something like that had a globe trotting like zombie where like you have to deal with the whole world dealing with it. But then Jerry has to be a character, I'm sorry to yeah. say. Oh yeah. And he can't just be daddy who also knows a, a world <laughs> health organization yeah. shit. Yes. Like that it has to be more than that. He has to have some interiority. Uh and I just I I find this movie 
abhorrent like the, <laughs> like the the way that it like tries to do like the clean prestige like i think that's why i get really itchy whenever someone's like elevated horror and shit like that yep. i'm like this is kind of what they're thinking about sure and i do not want any more of this nope. stop this now nope. and it, it hasn't gone any further so thank god uh yeah i'll just say uh still off zombies would not recommend this total fucking travesty of a movie real embarrassment uh for everyone involved, they should be totally ashamed of themselves. What a failure. Steve, say that. <laughs> yeah, I would. it's going to take a lot for me to go back to zombies. Mm-hmm. In Last of Us, I gave it a shot, and I get that the no. mushrooms are different. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I, listen, I only watched two episodes. And people who enjoy that show should enjoy that show. But for me, I just know the beats. I know that there's going to be the grocery store scene. I know that there's going to be the scene where we're like, creeping around. Will the zombie ever hear us? Oh, no, it hurt us, and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, like, I just... I find all of those beats really boring at this point. It would take a real like reinvention or just which I mean, which Danny Boyle did in in yep. the early aughts, and that's why that's why this whole zombie boom happened. Good for him. Uh, he doesn't get a ton of credit for it, but like it just it's it's it. I've seen it all, and this movie <laughs> has nothing because it's not even a horror movie, and it's not even really exciting or even thought provoking. It doesn't even talk talk much about like what the end of the world could be, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just sort <laughs> yeah. of doesn't even do that stuff. It doesn't want to do any of it, and then it just ends with Pepsi. So no, thank you. <laughs> uh, but that is going to do it for this episode of We Hate Movies. We all got to go crack an ice cold Pepsi ourselves mm. here. Uh, but feel free to head over to patreon.com slash we hate movies for even more exclusive we hate movies content including a banger we love movies episode on uh, jimmy guns guardians of the galaxy mm-hmm. uh we got the singer from uh, jabba's palace yes there. yes she was credited as fat dancer in the end credits of return of the jedi and we're going to talk about her for about 20 minutes or so as a b- <laughs> little bonus content for you folks uh, a, a, an ad on rugrats yeah uh, melrose yes. 210 is coming up yes Absolutely. and then, of course the nexus uh, our Star Trek recap show is trucking along. We've been recapping the original series and the next generation. So get into it. I got to tell you, because I just remembered that I, th- I believe that this month's Melro 210, at least the the, Mel- the Nano 210 portion is real. There's a lot of Jim Walsh in this one. And the episode, oh. the episode in question is called Mexican Standoff. Oh. You want to subscribe to hear Chris, Chris Cabin's oh. really upset already. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, and I will say, uh, at the time of this recording, we've yet to lay it down, but I do believe that the, by the time this episode airs, uh, we will have put out a very special uh, me and Steve recapping the third season of Star Trek Picard, which I think is one of the most fantastic bits of science fiction television in a long fucking time. Uh, so we'll be doing a very special one episode only, uh, just sending off, keeping, uh, making it so. That was the Picard recap show we did season one on. We didn't have time to do season two. So we're going to be talking season three in all its fucking glory. You can get that on the Patreon as well. Uh, but here on the main feed, the show continues next week. Steve, where are we going? Oh, we are. Uh, we're, we're revving it up next week. <laughs> we're, and we're globetrotting still. Oh, yeah. Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. Oh, yeah. yes, indeedly do. There's a lot to talk about in that movie. And, of course, Fast X coming out, the conclusion to the saga. The good news is we're going to be talking about the least consequential Fast movie of them all. The <laughs> yeah. one yes. where most of it just got thrown out. The like, one yep. without the guys. <laughs> yep. The one that doesn't have any of the Without people. any of the guys that you <laughs> loved. I mean, you know, Han is there, of course. Yeah. But uh, that's you know, uh, Lucas that Black, if you're really into it. Exactly. So uh, all that, of course, we'll be talking about the Fast franchise, uh, which yeah, always... See, oh, the, yes? A sequel, which is planned to serve as the 11th and final. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's going to be a sequel to One Fast. X. Dude, You're going to get a one just, X. That's, yeah. You know what? That's dumb. <laughs> uh, but anyways, next week, gang, we'll be talking about Tokyo Drift. We can't wait to see you there. Until then, I've been Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>